In this video, I'm going to show you where to get the best level 70 non-prestige group gear in EverQuest. That's right. If your server that you're on uh, has the broken mirror available, and this could be a TLP, but most likely a live server, this guide is for you. Okay, so first take a look at this. At level 70, I have the three pieces that you're going to get that you can get. You have the elaborate right here, which you have probably been using from level 65 and up. This is readily available and at a decent price in the bazaar. At level 70, you can go ahead and get the elegant gear right next to that. And on the right is the gear that I'm gonna show you how to get. This is it called TBM gear uh, from the Broken Mirror. Now let's take a look at the effects. Cleave two, cleave three on there and look at what it has. The cleave and look at the differences on the left you get an 80 percent increase in melee uh, criticals and on the next one on elegant you get 120 percent which is a great improvement a 50 percent improvement but take a look at what you get on tbm gear same level it will work and that's going to go crazy it's going to raise your dps numbers through the roof in this video i'm also going to show you what the remnants or the currency costs it's tradable so hang in there and watch to the end because i'm going to compare for you okay let's talk about where it's at you go to the plane of tranquility and it's this guy he's a little frog he's next to this guy but first let's take a look at a few pieces here just to give you an idea of what else you get ferocity you know ferocity is big time here look at what ferocity does and look at the boost you get you get you go from ferocity to on a elaborate piece to the preservers uh, piece and you go all the way up to that can you believe it ferocity 10 and this piece only costs about nine or remnants of tranquility they're very cheap and remnants and tranquility are super easy to get on your server well let's hope they still are after this video but nevertheless they don't sell they don't cost too much and you can get them and at level 70, since you can't get the missions, you just go and buy this. Look, you don't even need any augs in this at all. Later on, when you get to be 75, you can put augs in this piece and make it even crazy, better than raid gear. I'm going to compare it to raid gear, by the way, so stay with me on this. So this is the two right there. Now let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at two weapons. On the right is a raid geared weapon from the Gates of Discord expansion. You can see there it's got a slot 8 on it. And there's the Armsman Rod. Isn't that crazy how good the Armsman Rod is just by default? It's a very, very good weapon. Look at the uh, attack it's got on it. And look at the hit points. It's better than the previous levels, previous expansions, uh, raid gear. So now, here's the big kicker right here. If you're a healer like I am, look at this. Check out the focus effect. Undying Solace. Look at that. Is that nuts or what? 52 to 73% boost in healing? You know, the raid gear only gives something like 40 something percent at the max. I think at level 70, you get anguish gear. It's only 40 something. This is 73 and you'll pop some crazy heals. Okay, so next things next, the currency you're going to need is called Remnants of Tranquility. And I have a lot of them because I'm on a test server. You're going to need to come into Planet Tranquility here. And you can see other people are buying this stuff too. And you zone into Plain and Tranquility right there. And what you're going to do is come out of this area here. And you just go straight down the coastline into this area. It's right by Quellius. And what's nice about it is she's easy to find right here. So you can't miss her. And you've got a solvent vendor, which not only does this person sell solvents, but it also this person also sells um allows you to parcel so you can go ahead and parcel stuff to you which is really nice so you could go to the bazaar and parcel and get your remnants of tranquility and then you come talk to this frog right here and once you get this frog you can see look at the price that they it is right here very very cheap these are level 70s single digit prices that's right and each of these tokens are cheap i'm going to give you an example of the first server on the list of live servers and just give you an idea and I feel that's probably the average price and I'll show you what they're selling elaborate gear for an elegant gear it's just funny because not a lot of people know about this remember take a look it is non prestige that means free to play accounts can use this and this is going to give you a huge boost it is group gear that is better than a lot of the raid gear 
for the level 70 zones. And that would be Prophecy of Road, Depths of Dark Hollow. So if you're starting out here and you're leveling a character up and you want to get a really good character, get this gear here. Take a look at this. This is a very good shield on the left. That's from Gates of Discord, some of the raids. And look at the Armsman shield. Is that nuts? I mean, look at that. Wow. Pretty good, huh? So you can see, and if you take this AUG out, which is 90 hit points, the Armsman shield really is very, very good. So you don't have to get raid gear like this. And if you're on a server like Fronu Buy, uh, heck, you know, don't go and buy that raid gear. Just go ahead and buy Remnants of Tranquility. Come down to Planet Tranquility and buy some of this stuff. Really, really good. You can see it gives you a lot of hit points. Not as much as I have over there, but very, very good right there. Okay, so that's Remnants of Tranquility. Those are the pieces, and pretty much all the pieces are kind of like the same here, you can get a shield and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at some gear and see what we've got here. Okay, so here's a here's something that I will say is that if you are a melee class, like a tank, there are other options. And it's maybe a little expensive, but the archaic plate is pretty good because it has good AC and a good hit point. So I think in, in a way it's better than the TBM gear on the far right. So you may want to get a few pieces of those. Some of these things do sell for a lot on the server, the archaic gear, because you have to go to Ocean Green Hills and Ocean Green Village to farm them out, or even Old Black Bro to farm. So not quite that easy to get, unless you have a higher level character. But nevertheless, take a look at this, and you can see. So on my tanks, I put the archaic plate and the archaic hat, and it gives me a little extra AC and all that. But you can compare, and guys, you can just pause the video or back up if you want to see the comparison these I've hit modified on them so they'll show you what you're at it's level 70 okay let's take a look at another one let's look at, look at the hats on the right is a raid geared hat from gates of discord and then you have the archaic hat and you can compare that to the tbm hat and you'll see what the differences are right there uh, some of them will have better focus effects than others so choose wisely but for a caster or a melee class you gotta go just totally tbm i mean say you're like a a wizard or something like that or a mage definitely go tbm all the way don't even look at the other stuff it's not worth it you'd be shocked at what people want for those stuff they they don't know that you if you know this uh, you're not going to be buying from them but just take a look at this right there good good stuff and the raid gear is hard to get because some of the bosses only drop one or two pieces okay so let's take a look at some more stuff here's some weapons right here the armsman greatsword and compared that's another raid gear um two-hander over there so you can see the difference there and sure one has a proc and all that that's great but look at you also get a type 4 damage aug that you can put in to the armsman greatsword so you know that brings it up even more so whereas the other one may not take that type 8 over there so check this out it also has a boost to attack and so you'll notice that most of the tbm pieces have a boost to attack start adding all those boosts uh, to attack up and you're just going to be hitting like a madman all the time here's another item right there that i was using this is from gates of discord from i believe the tac v raid the final raid and you can see how it compares so you know i mean it's it's right up there with that so you've got some competition um, this kind of tack figure may sell for a lot um, on Ferona Vi, but on live server, the only way you're going to get it is you got to go farm it out yourself, which isn't going to be easy at all. You got to have enough to get the agent of change. Okay, so let's take a look now. I'm going to show you what it costs. Okay, this server is, um, you can see the server there, Bertox, and that's my character I made. This is what it costs, it's 30 plat per piece. Okay, so you just do the math. If you need nine pieces, that's uh, 270 plat. Okay, so that's all you're going to need. And um, this is what it costs. There's a little surcharge that goes on with that. And there's a lot that are for sale here. And um, I'm sure it's this way on other servers too. Uh, with big economies, there's probably lots and lots of this. But like I said, uh, you never know. I mean, once people figure this out, they're going to start going ahead and buying this stuff up so get it while you can or at least just advertise and ask for it let's do something else here let's take a look at what the elaborate gear goes for okay so look at this elaborate gear what do they want 1400 is that nuts look at that uh, elaborate uh plate 
12 something, you know, I mean, that's just nuts. It's just ridiculous. They want that much. Or, now here's a real kicker, watch this. Let's put in archaic, okay? 10,000? Are you kidding me? Make sure you like and subscribe and see more. Thanks for watching.